My phone tells me that it is ten to eight and I need to get up and go to work. But there is a chance that my phone is wrong. And I can just stay here and not go and do anything. I'm willing to take that chance. And just stay here. I'm sorry, if you thought I was going to be one of those vloggers that wake up at 7am and I'm like, Hi guys, let's go and make a smoothie and greet the day and say hi to the sun. Then you're wrong. Whoever invented the morning needs a good slap. God, I am so tired. I should not have had that chocolate pizza yesterday. I stand by my decision to do it, but it was not a clever decision. Alright, let's go and teach. Saturday mornings, I teach drama down at a local academy. I'm a private drama tutor. As I said, that I've got a great love for teaching what I do, or teaching what I love. And I love drama, so teaching acting seems like a natural kind of progression of those two things. It's a really, really rewarding thing to do. I really enjoy it, teaching kids and adults. Uh, put on a few small productions, I've met lots of really interesting uh, students from doing it. And I love it, I absolutely adore teaching drama. Anyone who wants to be an actor will at some point probably get into teaching. If you're an actor yourself, I'm sure you've considered teaching, and it's something that I think you should do. A lot of people say, oh, actors, drama teachers are just failed actors. Not true, at all. Sometimes drama teachers, or people teaching drama at academies, are just people who will eventually go on to act. And as you can see as well, I'm wearing the the nin the ninja face gear this morning because of how ridiculously cold it is so that is my my plan that is awesome there is a oh my god look at that there is like a some kind of bird fight literally there are two birds fighting that's a pigeon being attacked by a bigger bird i mean nature is brutal but that is ridiculous that is not the kind of thing i expected to see in the morning Sorry if you're a vegetarian, but that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to leave these two birds to have their, their ridiculous bird fight and go to work. While I wait here to get picked up, uh, I want to tell you that this scarf is actually all the way from America. A few weeks and months ago, I used to Twitch stream quite regularly, and I will get back into doing that once my internet is sorted. My upload speed is terrible. But when I was Twitch streaming, I used to play a game called Neverwinter, which is an online MMORPG based in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. And I met uh, another streamer called Monica, or Moni Might Be, who's from America. And we got chatting, and we're quite good friends, and we just, uh, you know, hang out and talk together. And for a present one day, she sent me this scarf, all the way from America. So one day I will repay her and send her some stuff back. And I think I know what I need to send. She's never had a chocolate bar called Bueno. And if you're from England, you should know how nice the Bueno chocolate bars are. They're fantastic. So the plan is box full of Bueno. And that was going to be a surprise, but now I've ruined it because she's probably watching these videos. But by the time you see this, the box should be in the post. Oh my god, it is so cold. Saturday mornings, I teach drama. And it's a very rewarding thing to do, teaching. Especially teaching something that you love. If you've never taught something to anyone, I'd recommend going to do it. Find a subject that you know about, find a subject that you like, something that you can do, and teach it to someone. It's like a friend or, or an acquaintance. I mean, I've taught people to play a card game called Magic the Gathering, I've taught people how to act, I've taught people uh, how to write, how to be creative, all that kind of stuff, and I love it. It's really, really rewarding. And a lot of people say, oh, those who can't do, teach. And I disagree with this saying. I think a lot of people who teach anything are very good at doing it. Anyone who teaches something has to have a lot of knowledge about the subject. And while I can see that sometimes it means you can have theoretical knowledge about a subject without having the practical ability to do it, that doesn't apply to all teachers. A lot of teachers know exactly what they're doing and can do it very, very well. It's also warmed up a little bit and it's quite nice. It's a foggy day right now. Uh, the kids' class in the morning went really, really well. I'm really happy with that. They're learning a lot. And got some one-to-one -one tuition lessons later on. I would love to maybe teach drama full-time, but I think if I did that, I'd lose the time to follow out on the rest of the goals and things I want to achieve in life, like everything from video games to 
touring places to visiting different countries and stuff. Teaching full-time kind of ties me down slightly too much. So teaching part-time works out really well for me. I'm so glad it's warmed up. Classes have finished, so I'm catching the bus back from Nottingham to Derby. I had to catch two buses, one to get into Nottingham City Centre and then one from Nottingham to Derby. And the one to get into Nottingham City Centre I didn't have the right change for. I didn't realise that you needed change for the buses. I thought I could just pay with a note, but the driver very kindly just let me sit there and said when I catch it again, pay twice. So that was kind of him. And what I've decided to do when I get back to Derby is I'm going to pay Moni back, the American girl, for sending me this scarf. I'm going to round her up like a box of English chocolates and foodstuffs and send it to her. I've had this planned for a while, but I just never had the time to do it. You know how you've always got those things you plan to do, and then you never find time to do them? Well, this vlog is making me find time to do them, so we're going to get back into Derby, wander around some shops, and find some quintessentially English things to send to Moni. It should be fun. Let's drive back in Derby after the bus ride and the plan now is to head to several shops and buy some quintessentially British things to send over to Moni. I was talking to her on WhatsApp asking her what kind of things she'd like from England and the main answer was tea bags because I don't think they have the same kind of tea over in America as they do here and some sort of chocolate. I would send Kinder Eggs but I think they're illegal because, you know, they're dangerous things. Moni then asked if all English people live in castles, all know Colin Firth and all go to work on horse and carts. And I told her, no, that's not true. I go to work via flying umbrella because I have my nanny job, which uh, I have to hilariously dress up as a woman for. Everyone knows that England is quintessential like that. It's very, very British. So I think Poundland for all the chocolate and all of the tea bags. Managed to pick up some tea bags, some chocolate, uh, put it all together in a little care package. Managed to keep it under two kilograms, which keeps the international shipping fee from being ridiculously expensive to just very, very expensive. International shipping is extortionately expensive. Like, it's so much money to send something to another country. I didn't even believe it. It's like 20 quid to send a small package to another country. That's ridiculous. Uh, so I'm going to head home now, but apparently one of my friends is involved in something in the town centre for Christmas, so I'm going to see if I can find her first. Okay, so not only are my friends involved in the choir, I've apparently been stolen and have to sing as well. Right, I'll sing if I don't sing, but I'll sing if I have to. Happy Father, happy Father. Okay, come on, I'll sing if you need me to. Do you need me to sing? Good. See, when you hang around a lot of creative people, you end up meeting people who do stuff like this all the time, and it looks awesome. Oh, there's Jordan playing the keyboard as well. I'm feeling very Christmassy. Filming everything, I should probably mention one of the most uh, common locations you're going to see me at, which is this shop beside of me, Game Night Board Game Cafe. Ended up meeting and becoming quite good friends with the two guys that own it, Vincent and Simon. And I'm going to be making some videos for them sometime soon. A guide for how to play some of the most popular board games. Used to run Dungeons and Dragons there and still play Magic the Gathering. So game night is going to be a place that you see a lot in this vlog. And when I make those tutorial videos, I will link to them as well. The city I live in isn't famous for much, but one rather interesting thing is it is where Tomb Raider was created. Which is why I know the camera's flipped. But that says Lara Croft Way. Another interesting Tomb Raider fact is one of the theatre companies that I was in, I have been lucky enough to meet and dance with on stage the voice actress that voiced Lara Croft in Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3, two of my favourite Tomb Raider games, games I'm actually going to play through on Steam sometime. But yeah, I am friends with and know the voice of Lara Croft. I went to bed far too late last night and... I'm shattered. It's like six in the evening, but I'm really, really ridiculously tired. So if anyone ever tells you that you're too old to have a nap in the middle of the day, then you need to get those people out of your life because you don't need that kind of negativity. So I'm going to, probably against my better judgment, fall asleep, wake up later on, play some games. I think the nap helped a great deal. I'm just out of mind now, chilling for a bit, relaxing. I've got the green screen behind me. This is actually a homemade green screen. I thought that in these Life of Strife vlogs, I should probably explain something about you know, the kind of things that I make and the things that I do, so this green screen is totally homemade. What it is, is a massive piece, in fact if I can show the back of it here, 
It's a gigantic piece of cardboard that I have put a huge piece of green felt onto the front of, and then I've used these kind of binder clips down the side just to clip it and hold it in place. And what you get is this huge big piece of green fabric that I just hang on the wardrobe behind where my computer is, which is just there, and use it as the green screen whenever I'm playing games. Uh, tomorrow, I've got a free day. Tomorrow's the last day before I start my new job. I'm going to be a party host at a trampoline park. I'm very excited about that. So tomorrow, I'm going to arrange some projects, talk to you guys about what I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks or months, and then hopefully keep this going. This vlog is interesting. It's actually making me do things with my day. It's nice.